This brindle dog is champion Andarab Baccarat of Lincrest. This is champion Mecca's Falstaff, the pale cream dog with Barbara Geidebeck. And this is champion Ammon Hall Nomad with Tommy Glassford. This is Nomad in slow motion. And he and Tommy Glassford are in marvelous sync and harmony together. This is champion Atali Ataturk with his owner Mike Padula. Ataturk was a grandson of champion Mazur Sharif of Mornistan. This is Jean Jantos with champion Holly Hill Sultan. Sultan was retired from the show ring and he really isn't in show coat. He was retired shortly after he finished, but he was used for a stud a fair amount. Holly Hill Sultan was about 27 inches tall, but he sired two very tall best in show Afghan hounds. One of them was champion Amon Hall Turkaj of Tajmir. He was a pretty dog. This is Jane Jantos showing eventually champion puppy Nicole of Provence. Nicole was a daughter of Iris of Provence whom we will see later on this film. And this is Jane Camp Forsyth with champion Holly Hill Desert Wind. This film of Desert Wind was taken in 1968. He was about seven years old. He was one of the great showmen the breed has ever known. In fact, I think of all Afghan hounds I have ever seen, he's the one who thought it was the best fun in the world to be in the ring with Jane. This is Mrs. Jantos, otherwise known as Mama, Jean Jantos' mother, with an Afghan hound that she was very fond of. Zeno of Province. Zeno was a son of champion Moonshine of Mornistan, whom we will see soon.
and this is Jean Janthus with Iris of Province. This black Afghan hound bitch was, I think, personally the niftiest thing that ever came out of the Janthus kennel. And there were some very nice dogs that came out of the Janthus breeding. She had show spirit and a beautiful outline and beautiful type. That's just about perfect in my eye. This is Bill Moore with champion Moonshine of Morniston. Moonshine was a very important dog in a lot of pedigrees. He was a son of Shurkan of Grandeur. I don't think he was more than 27 or 27 and a half inches. He was very square, very balanced was not black but actually a dark gray and didn't carry a big coat. It is worth watching the balance of extension and reach and drive though there is some funny action in the front pasture. This was very rough ground. It was not smooth. It is hard to judge how a dog really moves when the ground is this lumpy and bumpy. Moonshine was getting on in years when this film was made. He hasn't been in the show ring. Bill Moore finished him, but he didn't special him. And I think you can tell from the way Bill Moore handles Moonshine that he loved him very much. There is a certain tenderness, niceness in the hands. Moonshine is not enjoying being shown. Bill Moore was very proud of this dog and he is attempting to show us what a lovely rear he had. That's about as bad a job of gating a dog as one can hope to see. So don't judge Moonshine based on this. He was unfamiliar. He'd forgotten about being shown. The ground is very lumpy and bumpy. It would have been better to have film of Moonshine moving free. He just says, I want to be with you. Bill Moore and his dogs really love each other. And this is Jane Jantos with the puppy Artemis of Province. He was a nice, compact, plush-coated puppy. <laughs> 